So let's show you the highlights of that 65cc race. These are riders between ages 8 and 12. And you think, man, how are they going to ride a track like this that is super cross obstacles? Well, here's a 60 plus foot finish line jump. No problem. Gavin McCoy to the lead. It's Easton Graves trying to get him with a good start, but Graves would bump into another rider early, go down. Jackson Vick takes the lead on the number 70. Yeah, well, they didn't ride this track. They raced this track. That's right. They were racing. Um, I mean, these kids, Ricky, they were. They were rolling. They were they? rolling, rolling, <laughs> jumping. There wasn't a lot of rolling doing because they were in the air a lot, but these kids were on fire. Um, it was good to see it. Yeah, they talented. The future right here. Talented, and we talk about it all the time. We talk about it during the broadcast. We talk about the KTM Junior Challengers. It's a great opportunity for these young kids and the parents as well. Yep. There's Jackson Vick taking the win with style over that giant finish line jump. And Easton Graves was able to recover for second with McCoy in third. He's only 10 years old, so that's still pretty impressive. The fastest of his age group. That's two KTMs and a Cobra, and then a Yamaha in fourth with Brayton Craiglow. Joey Bacari was fifth, Carter Gray sixth, Jaden Smart seventh, Anderson Waldell, and Beckham Smith uh, eighth and ninth. Beckham Smith is only eight years old. Oh, wow. Jeez. And Probably, yeah. what, 60 pounds? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, he's a 50cc champ right. and showed he could do it on a 65. Brody Bercher and Landon Lee as we give you the top 11 in that class. It was really cool to see 65s out here because we wanted to give the full feel of what Supercross and Motocross are. So we had a track the head a little bit, 